like the Senate does, where the guys talk for, for six days and then everybody comes in and they got 15 minutes to make a vote and they put down their, you know, and they're. Well, no, there was no. I mean, this is the first. Wait, okay. I am okay. talking. Okay. And so, so you're you're voting, but you don't really have to be there for the whole thing. But you have the power to uh -huh. have your own little vote, regardless of how it comes out. Senate wants it, majority. We but want we want it, everybody to. The agree. difference is that there was no pressure to have a decision, to have a council that reached a decision. We were coming to get together first to talk about the uh, what needed, if anything needed, what we could do. You know, and it was the idea. Of something needed. We to be along the way we done. decided that that. We couldn't stop anybody from not having a gathering. It was obvious that somebody would get together in the next year. Would, did we want to have one the next year? What would happen? Um, okay. Uh, would we have one? Where would it be? What, you know, would we decide? Did we want to decide? You know, I mean, it was all open-ended. We, we could have reached or not reached. Did we have to decide things by consensus? So who made the final statement that it would be in Arkansas? I, I, individually, I don't know who went out. I mean, there was somebody that was... Uh, the focalizer changed at, uh, completely at different times, but I mean, it was pretty much decided upon by the group because, because there weren't really many two alternatives. Or there, was, been a core, there wasn't much dissension. There must have been a core group. The core group was the people that I gave rides to in my car. Eight people. Well, it, uh, including a few other of their friends and stuff. It may have been a dozen people or so. Okay, the, dozen core, people. the core group. I was pretty much. Uh, you uh, were I made a comment, but I was not actively pushing okay. for. I was the only person from Arkansas okay. there, and I was not pushing who for was, Arkansas. Uh, who was the. Uh, um, because I knew nothing about putting on a gathering except what I had seen a, a, a beautiful one just happened the year before in, in yeah. Wyoming with almost nothing happening beforehand to, to make it happen except just people deciding to do it. And so I'd now say, Wyoming's done, read your paper. Okay. Um, well, where was I? Okay. Well, uh, to back up a little bit, he's talking about the... Um, Recently, Beck has admitted that the, their whole world trip was not rainbow, and they wanted to practice at Vor Vortex One to get together their concept of a world peace and healing gathering that happened to merge into the first rainbow gathering of the tribes at, at Granby. So you had several different groups of people. We talked about that already. Yeah, that's where I left off of. Uh, though the supposed rainbow elders did not want it to be called rainbow, but everybody did anyway. So, so really, it was the rainbow gathering of the tribes, a world peace and healing gathering. Okay, we went through that. Okay. And in fact, they didn't want to see the next gathering happen in Wyoming. As to them, Granby was a one-shot deal. But many of us spread the word Wyoming 73 and put up signs around the Colorado gathering so folks knew. So I, I didn't know that. I, mean, I knew that it was just sort of happened by, by rumor. But, but he actually says he put up a sign that they, okay. they consciously started that rumor. So I didn't does know he, it. Does he, no. Did he had a family? Was he one of the gurus? That, that had followers, you know, I mean, I mean, people that, you know, was he a mentor to, to a lot of... Uh, no, not at that time. He was just no. part of this group that came together at the Vortex Gathering. Okay. And started them calling themselves at that point a rainbow family. And okay. realized that the councils that they had had, had previously, previously to that to set up the Vortex Gathering were sort of rainbow councils in terms of the ethic of this family that came together okay. and decided to help put on this, this those rainbow people, family of the tribes, which also was a world of the elders. There were no elders. We were uh, all these people were. Uh, so the elders, elders he's talking about are now. Now they're looked on as elders by people. Okay. Yeah, at the time there were no elders. There were no. Okay. There were only individuals. There were no even groups. Keep reading. Okay. Keep reading. Okay. Um, no, the, the supposed rainbow elders. Now some people could think of these people because they have been to all together. We just did that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> a good part of the reason why some folks are opposed to me, meaning Rainbow Hug. Is that they know I know the truth and don't buy into their high hippie eldership, nor the outright lies that they are the founders of Rainbow. Well, they are part of the group that helped found this, you know. But there are no founders and there are no I, elders. We, that's, we can that's, understand his words uh, very well. Okay, okay. I also happen to know that early councils rejected the name Rainbow Family of Living Light because the supposed elders had incorporated that name as a church, which themselves are the directors, of course. And as you know, our councils have always maintained the rainbow is a religious and a political. Uh, I'm going to interject as an aside here that I also know other councils that that uh, thought there was nothing wrong with the rainbow family of living light, which a lot of us use, used and still use some, somewhat, um, not as a church but as a amorphous sort of group of individuals. But it is which a church. Which people still have as yeah, a which church, though. They have it as a church, but that's that's sort of a okay. separate incorporation. 
it is a family that includes the whole, uh, all beings that live on one level. And on, on another level, there are a lot of people that are no longer alive that are part of this family. Okay. A lot of people that don't realize that they're part of the family now. Um, so, so the name itself, um, we, saw, we, uh, we saw it as sort of a, a non-religious spiritual church, but not a church in what that he sense. Says? Uh, he says, um, as you know, our councils have always maintained the rainbow is a-religious and a-political, and we, we reject any, any leaders. And in the, way, in the sense that he's talking about it, I guess that's true. Uh, they are entitled to that name in church, but not to impose it on the whole. Rainbow Peace uh, Projects International does not claim to represent the entire Rainbow Council. And in fact, I've drawn clear distinctions in that regard. As we, we represent only those projects we do, and are simply part of the overall Rainbow Spectrum, like many other groups and individuals who attend gatherings. And as such, are independent and interdependent aspects of the whole. Yep. Okay. Now, a lot of us in the whole tradition of the thing call that whole, which rainbow. is, which, well, rain, the rainbow and the rainbow family of living light are kind of not meaning the church, but meaning the family, meaning the whole rainbow, meaning yep. all of those groups in place. Everybody the rainbow family. The rainbow family, and that tribe. widest sense means all of the tribes and even people that don't consider them parts, parts of it, but are working on these peace projects and different yeah. things. <clears throat> okay. All, okay. Continue. It's, it's a little... Continue. Uh, we understand. Confusing there to some people as to exactly what the no. rainbow... Well, uh, a lot of times people ask me, what exactly is the rainbow family? Or, but that doesn't have anything family. to do with what you're Okay, doing. okay. Yes, we did counsel about peace villages at the Montana gathering. They'll counsel more on the rainbow peace uh, fleet project, which was first presented at that gathering. And that's where the first consensus to the, the to the Rainbow Peace Project, uh, Peace Peace Fleet Project, came about. And in fact, I was part of that. I should, of course, point out that we did not use the name Peace Village, meaning P-E-A-C-E. -E. Then we used Peace Village. We just Peace Village, but not not Peace the acronym P-E-A-C-E -E Village. Then, and in fact, that was presented by Plunker Barry Plunker Adams, that is, at the New Mexico gathering a year later which turned out to be a blatant uh, usurp, uh, uh, usurpation, uh, usurpation. Usurpation. You. You. usurpation right. of the Peace Village Councils as Punker presented the Peace, P-E-A-C-E, P period, E period, A period, C period, E period, Positive Energy Alternative Community Environment, and Council thought that was cool, so agreed to change the name. We didn't exactly change the name, we just didn't to, to, to incorporate that as one of the additional meanings, a mystical sort of... Uh, um, now wait, part. wait. The council agreed that that would be a change of name. No, it wasn't really. A, he says agreed to change the name. It wasn't really a change of name. It was sort of an incorporation okay. as part of you know. Okay, let's go back. Uh, let's go back. You, let's go back to the article. It was so. both. It was both just peace village and also the the fact that it was a positive okay. energy when alternative had, community now, environment. When was, the, when was the Montana gathering? Montana Montana gathering was in '76. Okay, let's go back.